<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good. It is the morning of, I don't know, day like four or five. Caleb being here? Yeah. Three? Four. Three? Yeah, three? three. Day three. Day three. Morning of day three. <laughs> we are doing some fishing. Uh, it's a little bit chilly. It's not nearly as cold as yesterday. Hopefully yeah. the wind isn't going to be near as bad. The wind was the biggest factor we had to deal with yesterday, but since there's a little bit lighter wind, we're going to go to a little bit different style of lake, a little bit different type of clear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully catch some mega giants. There were some big bags that were caught out there last weekend. Um, and hopefully we'll get on some big ones. We're meeting our buddy Brian out there. Yeah. We'll look for some giants. Put her in a ditch. Hopefully get another five, seven and keep her out of the ditch this time. Keep her out of the cornfield. Keep her just cruising down the highway. <laughs> Maybe we'll get Chuck E. Cheese if we're lucky, but <laughs> let's go see if we can't catch a couple big ones. By the way, huge shout out to Karen and Ken, Dirds uncle and aunt. Um, they didn't have to let us stay with them, but we really, really appreciate it. It was awesome, made our life so much easier. Didn't have to get a hotel, Airbnb, anything like that. And it was so much nicer than anything we could have rented or stayed in. And uh, hospitality was amazing, food was amazing. The sleep felt great. Caleb's ready to go, let's go. <laughs> Dish, baby. What's her name, dude? <laughs> huh? What's the trailer's name? Merv. Dirds? Merv? Are you okay with Merv? I'm, I'm Merv. cool with it. It's Merv. I'm not going to veto. I'm Merv the Excite Baits jig trailer. He was a good lad. He hung in there through a lot of fish catches, but finally it was time to go. So I released him of his duty. He started here. And through the course of several hundred miles of driving, several flights through giant waves. Murph is now laid to rest in this one spot. He's still hanging in there. Let's see if he can make it all week. You can do it, Murph. We have faith in you. We believe in you. Okay, I'm starting with the LV500. Starting with the bait that we caught him on yesterday. I'm gonna rattle him up. I gotta put some sunscreen on my head. Are you still bringing it? No, I just know that. I know what'll happen if I don't. Because of my bald. Lotion up the bald. Two of them. There's another one. Nice. Good. <laughs> Huge head shakes out of the pipe. No. Watched her on the pan optics. It's a big fish. Look at that fish and that. God, oh, that's so awesome. That's such a different kind of clear. I swear. Oh. Ooh. That's a good one. Good start. Yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, dude. Nice starter fish. Monkey, monkey. Ooh. Shackalaka. On the NGC Astro head. Big. Yeah, big dude. Giant dude. Oh my oh. god. No. Alright, Caleb, you turn the break one off now. You and Ben got it out of the way. I'm thinking not not right now. Uh -huh. Ben just lost the fiber. Uh-huh. Five pound test and didn't have my dress, drag loose enough. Uh, I had loosened mine immediately. I mm -hmm. felt like when it first tried to make the run, I was like, oh, this thing is super tight. The thing with five is like, if you have any sort of kink or any sort of turn or any sort of terrible, yeah. like partially weak spot that normally hold up even with seven, yeah. like five is totally unforgiving. Yeah. She's a fickle bitch. <sighs> like that was, that was a mega. Like that was a fiver, easy. It was a seven all day. That was a seven all day and twice on Sunday. <laughs> all I'm fishing is a little Z-Man ticklers and a 10th ounce net head on five pound test line to 10 pound test fluorocarbon. Braid. Oh yeah, 10 pound <laughs> test braid, five pound test fluorocarbon. Oh. That's bad because we like thirsty with that this morning. You're like, when you lose a giant today, this is how you're going to handle it, Ben. 
<laughs> if you were just on. Hey, drag <laughs> I have no drag. I don't even know if I got the hook, hook into him. I'm literally not. I might not even have a fish. I might just have a clump of grass. That drags it a lot better. I mean, <laughs> not for the hook set maybe, but. Whoo! <laughs> 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 Didn't lose him. <laughs> well, that's because <laughs> the drag slips so bad. <laughs> I gave him about 10 feet of line. That's awesome. The hook set. <laughs> Oh man. Give him a running start. Thank you, pretty fish. Thanks, you pretty fish. Go back. Bye. So boys and girls, we've been out here and we caught a couple pretty quick and I ended up breaking off that really big one. Caleb caught one that was four and a half. Another pretty good one about four and a half. Um, so we've had our chances, had our opportunities. We've really only sat on two or three different spots. Haven't really found anything super successful so we're gonna run around a little bit check a couple different areas of the lake um, maybe they're moving through like little pinch points like where the lake kind of narrows down that's kind of our thought process where some of that warm water is blowing into we're gonna go check it out see if that's where they're sitting because right now we haven't found anything like super um, convincing that this is how they're setting up or it might just be a light low light situation low light sort of fishery because it's super clear water when that light gets down, they can't see us as well. Um, it's kind of our thought process. Let's see if it works. Don't know if it's going to hold up, but we're just going to try it out and uh, see what happens. Let's go. There's a fish. They're, dude, they're coming up to your jerk bait. They're coming up to it. Dude, they're all over it. They're going to get it. There's another one. There's another one. No, dude, I saw him come no, up. No, 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 no. He was all over it, dude. I'm gonna break this dirt bait off. Dude. <laughs> there were two fish there. Ugh, look at that. Good work, dude. We're getting ready for the elite series. <laughs> Good work. Heck yeah. Old Pam Garmin Pan Optics, man. I saw that fish come up and eat that thing. You know what sucks about today? They just won't eat a moving bait. <laughs> I mean, we didn't throw one till just now. I That's know. we're so dumb. We Good got work. up and we kept talking about it. We're like, you know, they should eat a moving bait right now. Let's throw the Ned rig again. Good. Right there, dude. It's you. That's a big one. Good one, nice. dude. <laughs> yeah. He's out. Holy smokes, that's a big dude, fish, dude. That's a nice one. <laughs> Giant. That's like five all day, every day, easy. It's thick, dude. I bet that's close to five. Four and three quarter. Zeros. Five three? Five three. Nice dude. Broke your PV twice this weekend. Holy Good work, dude. See guys, I knew it was five. I can just tell by the build on that thing. I said I said to myself five all day. <laughs> Why did I take a picture of that fish? <laughs> what an idiot. Oh that one's gone. <sighs> what a dork. The end has come for our long weekend of fishing. And Dirds is leaving. Bye. Dirds is leaving. <laughs> Poor dirty Dirds. Didn't catch as many fish today. We ran her in the ditch, but it was a lot of fun. And Caleb caught another big one. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, take care, tight lines. God bless. Pursue your passion.